everybody. It is November 29, 2017. I want to thank the subscriber who passed this video along to me. No, why is nobody talking about this? What is happening with billions of people? 2017, 2018 events. Yeah. It's really tiring. Preaching to the choir. You guys know all of this, but it's a very good video. It is Matt... Um, Matt Landman giving a talk, a very important talk, so I hope that you circulate it around and who knows, maybe we'll hit upon that person who has no clue what is going on and they'll take an interest. I'm going to play a few minutes of the video just as a teaser. The link is below. Get out and vote for sunny weather. Thanks again to the Calgary um, couple for going over the news articles. I'm just going to breeze through a few of these. In 73, when we had trusted news sources, they thought that we were going to be voting for our weather because they saw that it was being controlled. And they said, well, how are we going to deal with this? Who's going to get the rain? Who's not? Well, it went covert is what happened. Here's another one. I deleted a lot of the history slides because the history is a little dense. But there was one called Operation Large Area Coverage. Okay? There was actually six there's a diorite at this. Six simulated attacks were conducted on the San Francisco Bay Area. They used biological agents via aerosol. They spray biological agents on the city of San Francisco. They released plumes over the ocean and let it roll in. They did all these experiments to see how many people got sick. They tested this in the 50s on us. They flooded the Ho Chi Minh Trail because they knew how to do it. And they turned rain into a war weapon in Vietnam. Immediately following, a weather war ban was approved. But in the verbiage, they said, you can do it to your own people. We just don't want you doing it across international borders, because then how are we going to see if our experiments are working on our people or not? This guy, Kucinich, he proposed a ban on space-based weapons in the ban Article 2, he says, no chemtrails. They pulled him aside and said, no, 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 that's a crazy word. He took it, and so he took it out, because we don't want people waking up fast enough, because guess what, we're going to block out the sun in 2017. So, 2025, the future is now. This is a, a NASA document. NASA's budget is $54 million a day, okay? If you look into NASA Operation Paperclip, they're actually a bunch of psychotic Nazis. All right? NASA, NASA is a bunch of liars. I'm sorry. They came over after World War II, and their $54 million a day goes into spraying us. Okay? They have used this money and their black ops budget to even design a new class of weaponry, which is legal. Legal. They've designed a micron-sized mechanized dust, which is distributed as an aerosol, inhaled into lungs. This dust mechanically bores into lung tissue and executes various pathological missions. Okay? This is your tax dollars. $54 million a day. This is the um, U.S. Air Force document I was referencing. Owning the weather by 2025. Came out in 1996 talked about weather as a weapon, they're way ahead of schedule. They own the weather now. President of Iran, Ahmadinejad, he speaks out. He says in an interview a few years ago, he says, my contacts from Europe reach out to me. They said that, they, that Europe was creating drought over Iran, that they were emptying the clouds before we got there, before we got the clouds. He said he thought it was completely bogus, so he got a team of scientists to get involved, and he found out it was true. Weather weaponry covert on our enemies and ourselves, okay? This is Hurricane Joaquin. This is two summers ago. 1,000-year flood in South Carolina, okay? We've gotten a lot of 1,000-year things recently, mind you. They weaponized this hurricane. They held it in place for a full day. The energy from the hurricane's eye was put into a directional weapon. They weaponized an arm of this hurricane and blasted South Carolina and killed people to test 
a weapon. So look familiar, what they do is they spray these nanoparticulate metallics via aerosols, and they zap them with HARP. We have the HARP specialist, Ilana Freeland. She's got a book out there, I highly, highly recommend it. And I'm, I'm sorry to say, I just started reading this thing. It's amazing. I'm halfway through it and it is, she's got it. It's, it's worth it. It's very worth it. Um, so I'm not gonna go too much into chemtrails because we have Alana here, but what they do in a very simple way is they lay out the metallic dust. They use Tesla technology to zap that dust to create high pressure. If you can create high pressure system, you know, when you watch the Weather Channel back in the day, you've got H's and L's. H's and L's is high pressure and low pressure. If you can create high pressure systems, heat rising, you can steer things around. And they use this to steer the ionosphere. Okay, you've got different levels of the atmosphere. One of them is the ionosphere where the jet stream is. And that jet stream is not a stream, it's a river. And it's literally going. And you can steer it around. Or they can steer it around. I wish we could. Okay. So here's an example of one of these ionospheric heaters. One. There's dozens of these around the planet now. This is the first one in Alaska. And if you want to talk about global warming, ionospheric heaters need to be in that conversation. Okay? It's an antenna array. It's Tesla technology. And they actually have to use two of these at the same time to heat the atmosphere and steer part of the ionosphere to direct the weather. And Tesla, he said, if you can maintain control of these frequencies, you can directly control the entire mental system of mankind. 